case. We have the anniversary of 9-11 coming up this weekend. Ron Hamburger joins us, a structural engineer. He was the lead investigator into the collapse of the World Trade Center, and he joins us on America's Radio News for a few minutes. Ron, thank you for your time today. I sure appreciate it. Sure, Ernie. Good morning. You know, there were a lot of rumors that floated around about the uh, about the buildings and why they collapsed, and you went in and investigated thoroughly. And you want to put it to rest finally that there was no internal explosion, that this was because of the plane and the jet fuel, fuel and the heat? Well, that's certainly our belief. I spent more than two and a half years studying the buildings, uh, doing detailed analyses with a number of other engineers, and... All of us came to the conclusion that there were no secondary explosions planted, and this happened because the aircraft did great damage when they went in. The heat of the fires that followed it uh, basically weakened the steel, and eventually the buildings collapsed under their own weight. I, you know, I, and afterwards, I know that a lot of folks were saying that, uh, well, the building codes are, the, you know, the building codes weren't strong enough. They weren't good enough. And I know you spent a long time trying to get folks uh, from just say, oh, slow down a minute. Wait a second. We don't need to make a lot of expensive changes. Yes, that's correct. Actually, the National Council of Structural Engineering Associations put together an ad hoc joint industry group that included architects, engineers, representatives of all of the building materials general contractors, and we spent about 18 months looking very carefully at the building code and its ability to resist, to protect buildings against events like this. And, you know, we concluded that really the building codes we had back in 2001 were pretty much all that we really needed to do. And so we spent a lot of time actually resisting changes that would have cost society a lot of money, making buildings more difficult to construct and not really providing any benefit. Ron, if they had done, is, is there anything that the World Trade Center buildings in the actual construction, is there anything they could have done differently that would have prevented that collapse, that they might have been able to survive a hit from an airplane? Well, you know, the fact that one building stood up 45 minutes, the other nearly two hours after taking the impact they did, I think is a testament to just really how good those buildings really were. Uh, ultimately, if different fireproofing materials had been used that would have stayed adhered to the steel a little better than the ones that were used, that might have helped a lot. Uh, but, you know, a 767 is a huge airplane, and it was very full of fuel, uh, and it really was a very severe weapon. We, we designed buildings as engineers for credible events. Uh, and this was just not something that anyone foresaw at the time. I've had this discussion with a number of folks who are uh, believers of conspiracy theories, and they, they talk about the steel melting, and I try to point out that it didn't melt, it just weakened, and that's all that it took. And that's, that was the big difference, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You know, steel, when you make steel, you do it by heating up iron and adding other alloying elements to it. And... As the steel gets hotter again in a fire, it goes through phase transformations, it loses strength, it becomes soft, uh, and in that process it just became unstable. But you're right, it did not actually melt. Well, you see the videos of what happened that day. Uh, did you actually, You obviously you went on the scene and you had a chance to see it firsthand. Yeah, I actually arrived at the World Trade Center site about 10 days after the actual incident. Uh, initially, it was very difficult to get on the site because of the search for survivors. Of course, most of that was entirely fruitless. But I uh, did spend a good deal of time on the site and spent many, many, many months uh, reviewing drawings, looking at videos, still photographs, uh, interview transcripts with people who were present on the day. Yeah. Uh, it was an amazing piece of work. Yeah. Ron Hamburger, a structural engineer. He's a senior principal at Simpson, Gumperts, and Hager. Also, he was the lead investigator into the collapse of the World Trade Center. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. All right. Bye, Ernie. All right.